Bonifus. These children are your children. And you will have them. But you know there are a lot of things you need to do before they become legally called your own children. Nietzsche, I can I want to thank you very much. I understand 100% everything you have said. Please, tell me what I should do. <coughs> you are welcome once again. We have resolved that you will pay some amount of money to Augustine for the training of the children and other things. What you said is in order. And we agree to it. How much are we talking about? <clears throat> um, no amount of money charged will be equal to the amount of money spent by your customer in training those children. But however, we charged you one million six hundred thousand only. Thank you very much. Of the truth, what you have said is correct. But uh, there's no amount that is too much to pay for what Augustine has done for this children. Then by justice with this. Reduce this amount. Please. <coughs> uh, yes. Um, uh, actually, uh, what is it? Is it true? He has no choice. It is we go is over there. But um, in a situation where uh, we cannot afford the amount of money being mentioned. Is there uh, anything that, will, that can be replaced with it? Governor, huh? A piece of land commensurate with the amount of money we ask you to pay can be used in replacement. More money. You could tell her, all being here. You could, you could, you could see her. I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. We had a meeting with Boniface and one of his kinsmen. Based on the issue at hand, uh, you know there are things he has to do before those children will rightfully and legally become his own children. Yes, I'm aware of that. Yes. So traditionally, we have calculated all things, and we resolved that he is going to pay you one million six hundred thousand naira. You had him. Yes, I had him, but I am not interested. Mr. Yes. Guinea, what did you just say? I just said that I had him and I'm not interested. And nobody should talk about this issue. Who got sin? What madness was that? Why must of course say a thing like that? Honestly. I am tired. I am tired about everything. Oh, now you die. Please, I wouldn't want any one of you to get bothered again about him. Please. Look, if you look at him very closely, you will discover that he is no more with his full senses. Don't you know that? So we shall do something about it. Please. You, you are right. You have said it. Yes, of course. Yes, nothing stops us. 
Hmm? We shall do everything possible in our powers for him. It's our own. It's our own person. They called us for another meeting. The king's man? Yes. Is Papa away? That's not the point. Ella, listen. We belong here. On no account should you agree to be here. Are you hearing me? We belong here and there is no going back. We are not going anywhere. Are you hearing me? Yes. Good. I am solidly behind you. No. Before you were born, the tragedy had been in existence. And the only constant thing in life is change. There is always a process. But you cannot change tradition. Father, your tradition should consider how I do. Your tradition should consider the fact that I was born and bred here. Your tradition should consider the fact that I am in this place. Do your tradition know how it feels? A full grown man at my age and stage. Up one morning and realized that the same man I called father all my life is no longer my father. Do you know how it feels? What you know from? Do you know? I wish I can see your tradition one on one. Can do ba ba ba. I am not going anywhere. What about Naga? I belong here and I remain here and I remain my father. Papa, we know that we cannot change tradition. But oh, please. Something has to be done to amend this ugly situation, Papa. The only amendment that will be now is for you to go back to your real father, your biological father. Never! I'm not going anywhere, Father. I belong here and I remain here. I can arrest the government and arrest the I'm not going anywhere. But what about Naga? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Go there. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave you, Baba. Baba, please. Miko, no. Miko. Baba, don't let them take us away from you. Baba, please. Baba, I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave you. Baba, Baba, please. 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 Please.
I don't know. <laughs> My daughter, it's okay. Huh? It's okay. They are still your brothers, and Ella is still your sister. Don't tell me that, father. <laughs> Why me? It's okay. Stop crying, okay? It's all right. Oh, yeah, come, let's go inside. And then leave me and cry. No! Why did you allow this to happen to us? God! We have been loved. No brother, no sister. <laughs> Yeah, come, come, let's, let's go inside. It's all right. I Tony, why are you doing this to yourself? I am not hungry. Agree to eat so that others can join? I'm not the one stopping them from eating. Oh yes you are. You just come to the table and eat, then you see what happens. I said I'm not hungry and I'm not the one stopping them from eating. If they are hungry, they will eat. As for me, I am fasting. Uh, Charles, Ella. Come to the table and eat with your father. The food is delicious, eh? Come. Brother, good night. Ella, I'm not bad. Pray before you sleep. Make sure you pray before you sleep. Definitely. Tony. Hey, Papa. It's enough. What is doing, doing, doing? Let him be now. If he's hungry, we eat. Mm. You don't cook today, what is it? Papa, before they mix the chicken, myself and you. It's not even enough to stop enough. Ah, 
But if they refuse to eat now, they will eat their dreams. Simple. <sighs> What is this? Mr. Maya. When I saw him for me on his bike, mm. hey, is that his white hair? Hey. Oh, oh. Shakara. <laughs> My heart was so happy. Mm. It, it, it feels good to be in love. <laughs> mm. <laughs> So you still have appetites to eat, huh? After changing father for me at this stage and age of my life. Mama? No, not mama. Former mama. Do you know how painful it is for a full grown man like me to start up a new life with total strangers? Do you know? And we are here eating. Alright. I have decided to be visiting you every day, five times a week, as my former mama. What do you have to say? As long as I live, you will know no peace. And as for you, go out of your house. Go out of your house because next time I will come here, you would like you. Dala, dala. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, Father, I thank you for making us to see this beautiful day. Father, wherever we've sinned against you, may you forgive us our sins. I cover my parents with the blood of Jesus.
<laughs> you wound yourself, bro.
Leave this place. Sit down. Get out of this compound now. Get out of this compound. They are Tony. Come on, sit down. Don't Tony me. Don't Tony me. Tony, oh, give me go. Eh? Oh, could be alone? This woman is evil. Leave this compound. I'm warning you, leave this compound. Yeah, Anthony. Tony, sit back. I swear in the next two minutes, if you don't leave this place, I will do something that the whole wide world will regret. Yeah, Tony, Tony. Tony, come back and sit here. Come on, sit down. Give me a look. Yeah, sit just imagine. Just imagine. What kind of boy is this? Look at that. Look at Why? What's wrong with this boy now? Tony, what is it? Why are you looking like this? The shameless he goat that calls himself our father is still sleeping around with our mother. Don't tell me you're serious. I'm dead serious. I saw them at ZM Suite. Tony, you know this thing is no more ordinary. Talk about the devil. Shameless he goes. I beg your pardon. Don't beg for my pardon because you won't have my pardon. What are you doing with my mother? What kind of question is that? I saw you both at ZM Suite. What were you two doing there? Anthony! Anthony! Where the hell do you think you're going? Anthony. Listen, I'm warning you. Leave my mother alone. I'm warning you. Leave my mother alone. I swear, the next time I will catch you with my mother in any hotel, I will disgrace you and I will come from your head. Ma Ubisi, I will bob you. Stay off my mother. Are you hearing me? Shameless people. What are you doing with her? What are you doing with her mother? Eh? Come on, you know I'm here in the hotel. Leave me alone. I, I will start from your bike. I see the guy can come, come out for me. I'm the one you push up. Anthony, no one will again. I told you! Leave our mother alone! What is your problem? I told you! Is it me you pushed down? I told you! What happened again? Tony! My father here told me that you pushed him down. Is it true? So you called me out here to question me as what? Supreme Court or High Court? I am asking you a simple question. Did you push my father to the ground? Yes or no? Alright. Yes, I did. And if he repeats what he did, I will kill him. How dare you? Tony, you pushed my father to the ground and you still have the guts to vomit such rubbish from your mouth? What will you do about it? Tony, I'll kill you one day. Tony, I'll kill you one day. I'll do something to you. I'll do something to you. I'll do something to you. I'll kill you one day. I'll kill you one day. It's okay. I'll do something to you. Stop. I'll kill you one day. I'll kill you one day. Tony, I'll kill you one day. 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 Tony, I'll kill you one day. It's okay. Just say it. Come on, come on. I will personally summon the elders. And I will both give people to them. You will see. Why not summon them now? Listen to me, Neka. If there's anybody to leave this house, that person is you and your stupid brother. It is you and your brother that are stupid and useless. Bastard children, that's what all of you are. <laughs> okay. You know what? I don't have your time, eh? 
when the time comes, we're going to know who and who is going to leave this house, huh? And no fear. You would have touched me now. Let me teach you a lesson you'll never forget in your life. Wait a minute. You, Neka, teach me, Ella, a lesson I will never forget. <laughs> Even in your dreams, you cannot beat me on a fight. Or do you want to try? I am one. Let us try. Yes, he called you. We want to know what did Nika do to you that made you bitter up like this? I said you called me. He just asked you a question. <laughs> me that is talking to you, am I not a human being? I'm asking you, are you are repeating it again? Uh -uh. You are a dog. And all you can do is back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, eh? if this is the reason why you people called me, I was very busy inside. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't you dare. You are a one. Defender, just leave him. <laughs> Leave him, let him lay this his heavy hands on me, then I will show him I'm not just a woman. No sense. Hey, Papa. Papa. Uh, Ella. Okay. Just calm down. Now tell me, why did you beat Neka in this way? What did he do to you? In Ajum. Is this not Neka? Ask her what she did to me that made me beat her like that. From your response, uh -huh. eh? I now know you want trouble. Uh huh. When you see this trouble, I will give it to you. When you will see trouble and you go out. Just wait. No. Just leave her. I'm talking to you and then you are still folding your hands. You have grown wings, Ella. Come and put down those hands. Now, so my hand, Bill. It's okay. Now, let me warn you. Let today be the first and the last time you will ever trace those filthy hands on anybody in this house. Eh? Uh? Do you understand? And listen, that applies generally to everybody. When your brother Tony comes back, let him know this. Next time this happens, I will not tell you what happened. My children, I call this meeting today because there's something very important that I want to tell you. Okay, okay, okay. If you have anything to say, make it snappy. Because since I came into this place, I've lost joy and happiness. Meaning what? Because it looks like I have happiness and peace. Ebuka, Tony, please, you people should not start. Then make it snappy. Let me leave here. Uh -huh. The atmosphere is irritating. Biko, I'm my own Biko. I'm pleading with all of you. Biko, I'm a yoga man. I'm pleading with you. I'm on my knees. Please, let us leave as one family. Let's stop this bickering, this fighting of each other, tearing of each other. Please, let us just leave in peace as one family. Let's enjoy the joy. Eh? Um, Will you shut up that hole on your face? Who asked you to talk? No, who asked you to talk here? As for you, as long as I'm here, I swear you will never have peace. Let's leave here. And then we're now Tony here. Tony, no, what can you imagine? You see, I'm just keeping quiet. It's not like I don't know what to do. I know what to do. Biko. Uh, allow me to speak. There's something on my mind. What could that be? 
Don't you think it would be better if you paid my wife once? I don't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? So which aspect of it is it that you don't understand? The fact that I want you to pay the bride price and I, I'll move into your house? It's not that I don't understand what you just said, but I think we should tackle the issue at hand first. That boy wants to kill me. That is why I'm saying pay the bride price. Once I move in, everything will change. Yes, you're right. Once I pay the bride price and you move into my house, everything will change. But the change we are talking about now, is it change for good or change for the bad? I know it's Tony, my son, you're talking about. Tony is my son. I carried him for nine good months. I understand him in total. You speak as if you've forgotten he's also my son. Yes, he is. So, why is he threatening my children and I this way? Tony. Once I move in, Tony would calm down. I can handle him. I hope he will. I really hope.
my in-laws. This is uh, this is beer. This is hot drink. We brought this for a brief discussion. You are welcome. Nice. None. We've seen all they brought. Yes, I have seen them. But they have to tell us why they have come to see us. I mean their mission. Well, uh, no matters. Knowing our mission will not stop us from taking this drink and cola. No, no matters is right. We should know your mission. I what I was saying. You don't go. Just as I said before, knowing our mission will not stop us from taking this drink and cola. However, we can officially inform you that our daughter, which is your wife, is dead. Get that kid, what are you gonna? No. You heard him? Yes. I heard them. Timothy, I heard you very well. I am very, very sorry to tell you that we can neither chew your cola nuts nor drink your drinks. I've said what I said. You can be going. You will hear from us soon. Our in law. Why? Our in law, why? I'm sorry. Uh, just for a while, you will hear from us soon. You are welcome. What's up for me? Is that for me? Yes. Bernard just left my house. He came to inform me that Elizabeth, my daughter's corpse, will not be buried because she defied the land. Bernard gave you this message. Okay. What do you have to say? As far as I'm concerned, Elizabeth's corpse will be buried. After all, she's still their, their wife. Good. I support you. James, we shall take the cops to them after they have not returned the bride. So she's still their wife. My daughter's cops shall be buried. When men are talking, don't come out. When men are talking, don't come out. As for you, you are my regular customer. I will beat you again. Akara, you are not Akara, you are not Akara, you are not paying any of this for the For the same I want to tell these people to leave this house. I don't know them. We are not in any way related. Let them get out from this house. Final. Michi Godude, it is you and your miserable looking sister that we pack up and not us. Shut up. Hey, 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 man, a woman. If you don't know what to say, keep quiet. Don't you dare shut him up. He knows what he's saying. This is our father's house and we are going nowhere. Shut up. Shut up. You people must leave this house. I swear, you people will leave this house. Um, now you look, with all due respect, I want this Bolom Bolom to understand something clearly. I am the first child here. Think about it. And that simply means everything our father has belongs to me, including this house. <laughs> so tell this Bolombolo to stop vibrating because I'm happy when. What's the meaning of this? Yes. Why would you come up with that? Are you? Now I look very stupid. For you to open your mouth and say that my father's property belongs to you. Now I look stupid. As what? Who are you? Who do you think you are? Huh? As the first child, or didn't you hear him? Are you dead? Nailu. Hmm? You can see that these people are ready for. 